I have several videos on this game. I've kept up with development and was really looking forward to the full release. In the beta, I got about 40 to 60 hours, and in the full release, another 20. Everything I'm saying is going to be an opinion, and hopefully I'm wrong so I can learn from this and make my brain bigger. So let's start with the bad. The finals is not the next big shooter. It won't compete with the big name FPS's, but I do, it, I do see it having a niche audience. It's an okay game, but it's not really good or great. We're going to make this quick, and if you have any questions, please ask in the comments what I mean when I say these things, and I will discuss it with you. I want this to be more of an intelligent conversation, not an attack on me or y'all. The following are gripes I have with the game. Ladder magnetization. Jump pads not working in some areas. Fire killing me through walls. Players being able to clip through objects they shouldn't. Those are the minor things. Let's move on to the big issues I have with this game. I'll be a bit more elaborate for this. The first one being not being able to leave a match early. Whenever I win or lose, I don't want to watch this screen. Why am I being forced to watch this? Look at this clip. This is a great example. Now I'm going to be unable to play for the next 20 seconds, and I can't leave the match because if I do, I don't get any of the rewards for it, even though the match is already set in stone. There is no overtime cash-out capture right now in casual play. So not only do I have to wait out the respawn timer, I also have to watch this victory screen, which is just super annoying. I still can't leave during this screen. This is time I could be spending getting into another match and having fun. See what I mean? Let's move on. The game is overly catered to a competitive audience, and I have never thought that for any game I have ever played. Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Overwatch, Fortnite, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, Counter-Strike Go, and I've got over 100 hours in all of these games, and even a thousand in three of them. So when I tell you the game is overly catered to a competitive audience, you have to know something is wrong here. I think the big reason I feel this way is because of the lack of counterplay and the boring meta. If you get into a competitive situation with this game, you're gonna be falling asleep even when you're winning. The lack of counterplay ruffles my jammies so darn tootin' much. If you lock into a character, you can't switch to the medium or heavy mid-game. So if you are hard countered, you're done. Also, if you don't have the right counterplay gadgets in your reserves or on your character, you're also done. This just seems like such an oversight by the devs. At least give me access to my full reserves so I'm not stuck losing the entire game to non-gameplay. Mines, turrets, shields, anti-throwables. All of these things represent non-gameplay, and I despise winning or losing with it. And when you have such a heavy reliance on RNG between teams being able to counter or not counter each other, you get stale gameplay. In order to have a competitive audience, you need to cater to your casual ones first, which is where all of these other games succeed. This is by far my biggest issue with the game. Last, but probably most detrimental, we have a severe lack of game modes. This game is somehow launched with only two game modes, these two. Both of them are objective-based game modes. Collect the thing, bring it to the thing, then interact with the thing. You can't expect to hold the attention of players for three months with only one game mode, much less a person like me for more than a couple weeks. And that pretty much sums up the bad. Let's move on to the good stuff. I will say that this game does make an excellent distraction. Man, you can have some fun in this game. Whenever you do have a good time in the finals, it is up there with the big dogs. Running around with the sniper as the light and dominating the enemy team trying to secure the point, carrying your team as the medium holding them all together, and playing this weird pseudo build as the heavy that protects but also has the capacity to one-shot lights with the RPG. Ooh, Most of my time was spent on the light because it's the most fun though. Anyway, I have to wake up in five hours and catch a plane to Vegas. I've been rambling way too long. What do you think of the final so far? Let me know down below and subscribe if you want more.